Okay, here's the scene. You were hiking with some friends in the woods when you lagged behind the group and got lost. Do you have what it takes to survive all alone? Get a riddle right, add a point, and see your results at the end. You're making your way through the forest thicket and come across two bear cubs. Ah, cute! You remember the granola in your pocket. What do you do? Give it to the cubs and play with them? Keep calm and slowly but immediately sneak away? Walk away calmly? Phew, I'm running as fast as possible from the bears. Better make it quick, you have only 7 seconds to decide. Get out of there, but slowly and calmly. If you've crossed paths with some cubs, Mama Bear is probably nearby. If you run, you'll likely draw her attention and she'll try to protect her babies, even if you had no bad intentions. You quietly leave the cubs behind, but that's when you hear branches crunching behind you. You turn around, and there's Mama Bear standing up on her hind legs roaring at you with all her grisly might. Your next move? I can outrun this big clumsy animal. Climb up to the nearest tree and wait until the bear leaves. Lie down in the fetal position on the ground and don't move. 7 seconds, hurry! Lie down, curl up to protect yourself and don't move if it's a grizzly. Hopefully, it'll realize you're nothing to fear and just walk away. Don't get up right away though. A bear may watch you for a long time to make sure you're not alive. Only then can you get up and go change your pants. Great, the bear is gone. You go further into the forest. It's getting hot and you're thirsty. You see three water sources ahead. Vines and plants, a clear still lake, a stream. Which one will you choose to drink from? Like cacti, you have to be careful when extracting water from vines and plants. Many can make you sick. Standing water is also a no-go because it can be dirty. Your safest bet is the stream. It's getting dark and cold. Time to make a fire. You've collected dry branches, brushwood, and birch bark. What do you do next to make a fire? Put it all in a pile, throw some gasoline on it, and light it up. Form the branches in a little triangle, put the birch bark inside, and light it. Who needs all that? You can just light a nearby bush on fire. Never make a campfire with gasoline. The gas will burn out too quickly, and the fumes aren't good for you. And don't light nearby plants on fire, they're probably too wet to catch, and the flames can get out of control. Use the triangle method for a safe, long-lasting fire. Got your fire? Now dinner! After 15 minutes of searching, you found something, but not all this food can be eaten. What will you choose for dinner? Purple and red ripe berries. Ooh, they look delicious. Pine bark. Not quite as mouth-watering. White mushrooms. Your 7 seconds start now. You shouldn't eat berries or mushrooms if you don't know exactly what kind they are. So yes, the best choice here is the pine bark. Just don't forget to cook it over the fire. It's completely dark, and you could really use some shut-eye. Out of nowhere, you hear someone call your name. You're so taken aback that you run away from this place. There are three paths ahead. The first is covered in hot coals. The second is strewn with rusty nails. Broken glass lies on the third. What will you choose? Yeah, I know, we're leaving the path of reality here, but hey, just play along. You can score some really good points. Go with the hot coals. Your feet won't be on them for too long if you're running. The path takes you out of the woods. You find yourself standing in front of an abandoned castle. 
Yep, it's full-blown fantasy now. You run inside. There's no power, but you can still see three rooms in front of you. The first one is crawling with venomous snakes and spiders. A pit with sharp spears at the bottom awaits you in the second. Open wires hang all over the third room. Only one leads to safety, so which will you choose? You have only 7 seconds to decide. Choose the third room. There's no electricity in the castle, remember? The wires won't shock you. You escape from the strange castle and meet three hybrid creatures in front of you. The first has a rhino head on top of a hornet's body. The second has the body of an alligator and the head of a slow loris. The third has the body of an anteater and the head of a warthog. There's no escape, and you have to fight one of them. So which creature do you think you have the best odds winning against? The warthog head can still get you with its tusks, and the alligator body can knock you out with its tail. But a hornet big enough to fit a rhino's head wouldn't be able to survive, because there's not enough oxygen, hence why insects stay small. But stop. Hybrid creatures? You wake up near the coals of your campfire. It was a dream. You hear a river flowing nearby, but you don't have a map and still don't know where to go. How can you find civilization? Go in a straight line until you arrive somewhere. Go along the river. Go in the direction of which side moss grows on the trees. North. 7 seconds. Tick tock. You're best sticking to the river. They usually have settlements on them. Going in a straight line can get you nowhere or making circles. And moss doesn't always grow on the north side of a tree, just usually. You're not paying attention as you walk downstream with the river and OW! A poisonous snake bit you on the leg. You can do one of three things to save yourself. What will it be? Use your mouth to extract the venom. Tie a tourniquet around your leg to prevent the venom from spreading. Stay calm and put your leg in a loose splint to restrict movement. Your vision is blurring. Hurry, you only have 5 seconds. Never try the mouth trick and don't ever use a tourniquet for a snake bite. It's best not to move the affected limb and keep it below your heart level. Remove any clothing around the area before it swells up. Fortunately, your friends find you just in time. They take you to the doctor, and you're given two tablets with an antidote and two with a catalyst that helps the antidote work better. You need to take one tablet with the antidote and one with the catalyst at the same time. Then take the other two in 12 hours. You put all the tablets in your pocket, and sure enough, they got mixed up. You can't take all four together or two catalysts or two antidotes at the same time. What do you do? You have 7 seconds to figure it out. Grind all the tablets up, mix all the powder together, and divide it in two. Each half will have the same amount of catalyst and antidote. Ta-da! Well, how did you do? If you got 0 to 3 correct answers, you better keep up with the group next time you go camping or brush up on your survival knowledge. You'll get plenty of practice here on the bright side. 4 to 7 points? Not bad. You have a lot of survival skills that can help you in an extreme situation. But maybe you shouldn't stray too far away from civilization, just in case. 8 to 11 points? Ah, the wilderness is like your second home. If I ever get lost out there, I'd want you with me, hands down. Hey, if you learned something new today, then give the video a like and share it with a friend. And here are some other cool videos I think you'll enjoy. Just click to the left or right, and remember, stay on the bright side of life!